What up, though, my creative cousins? It's your boy's DVD. Today, I'm going to do another how I shot and lit the image. So a lot of times I don't get a chance to get like behind the scene videos because sometimes everything's so fast paced. So I figure I will go ahead and do a how I shot and lit it video on this image. I did manage to get a few behind the scene pictures of the lighting setup. So I want to jump into that and show you guys um, how I shot it, how I lit it, all that good stuff. So this image is from last week or maybe 10 days ago with model Kimberly Smith here in Houston. And I really, really love this image and um, happy to share how I did it. Anyway, so this is Kimberly Smith model here in Houston. The makeup was done by the magnificent Corey Aston, who I love working with. Um, I wanted to do this one because I talked to a few photographer friends of mine. And they were actually asking me, hey, man, how'd you shoot that? How many lights? And believe it or not, this is really just one light and a reflector. So I want to go over um, the lighting setup and stuff and kind of talk through uh, the image. So again, like I said, this is one light. So I use a Profoto D1. I oh know this is actually a D2. I'm tripping. A Profoto D2. This is the thousand watt strobe. And as you can see, it is to the left. So basically I'm where the chair was. So let me, let me make a little diagram of where I was in reference to the photo. So check out my my drawing skills so i was here and there's my camera and so the light is to the left of me and about maybe two three foot behind me so i really wanted something very punchy very hard you know very hard like i really like the specular highlight and because the makeup was so crisp I really wanted to shoot with a hard light. So that's why I have it kind of far back. Didn't really mind the hard shadows uh, on their certain parts on the model. But yeah, so that's a Profoto D2. Um, and the power is, I believe, on nine. Yes, yeah, on nine. So it's like right at the maximum. I believe I was shooting this on F11, but we'll, we'll double check that later. So here is another shot of where the light is in relation to the model. Again, I am right here shooting. Here's my camera. I have a really big head right here. But anyway, so I have the light coming, coming here, and you can see a shadow is behind her and to the right because the light is to the left. So that's just how that works. Science, science, science. So I have this reflector right here just to fill in a little bit of shadow. We wouldn't get too much, but just a little bit, um, you know, around the chest area and on the clavicles. So as you can see, this light is very sharp. If we can look at, we can look at the shadow on her hand to see how sharp that is. That was actually the look I was going for. I really love uh, hard shadows. Uh, we have another hard shadow, hard line under her chin which is absolutely beautiful. I love that. Again, this was just one light. Uh, so she was maybe about three to four feet away from the back background. Um, and we were still able to um, make it white. It wasn't completely pure white. So most, most of that was done in editing. And I'll show you guys that in just a minute. So I actually, like I said, love these images. And let's go to let's go to the raw because I know people like to to see how the image looked uh, straight out the camera. So we'll go into a capture one, which is which is where I shoot tether all the time. And these are the images, and the only the only adjustment that was made on these images was the white balance. So I actually set my camera to fifty three hundred Kelvin because I was shooting with the Alien Bees. The, eight, the other day before the shoot and I forgot to change it back to 6,000 Kelvin which is pretty much standard for the Profoto so 
That's why I always use a color checker. And I'll show you what the white balance looked like before I properly white balance. So, so again, I set it to 5,300 and I'm getting 5,300. It's kind of blue. <laughs> so, so I um, white balance properly. And that's the only adjustment that I made to the photo. So let's go to, let's go to this one. Image is pretty sharp coming out the gate. So we'll just zoom in just so you guys can see some of the detail. This is why I love hard light because details are crazy on hard light. So let's actually bring this image into Photoshop so you can see uh, side by side what it looks like. So I'll show you guys. So let's see. Let's do two up, two down. So on the left, we have our raw image. And on the right, we have the edited version. As you can see, it wasn't too edited. Definitely cleaned up some of the skin blemishes. Uh, the color correcting um, so it's not so warm I really do like shooting warm though. Um, clean up some of the hair all that good stuff so and then we pretty much just made the background completely white actually that's another video maybe I should do to show you guys how to make a background completely white without messing it up but yeah so that's basically how I shot it and lit it uh, let's check the, the metadata because I believe I was on F11 for this one. Yeah, so the settings, my camera settings was ISO 100, uh, shutter speed 1 1 60th of a second, and my aperture was at F11. I was shooting with the Canon R6 and the Canon 100mm macro lens. And yeah, that's the result I got from for shooting that how I lit it. So let's go back to the lighting setup one more time and show you guys. Let me change my view. So this is, look at me, rookie. I didn't even uh, do a new layer to paint on this. But anyway, <laughs> um, again, you can do this with one light. Doesn't take 100 lights to do. Um, as you can tell, it's bare bulb. There is no modifier uh, on the strobe. And yeah, that's it. That's how I shot it. That's how I shot and lit this image. And I really, really like it. Kimberly likes it. Corey likes it. So, so win-win for everybody. So that is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, hope to do more stuff in the future like this. And I'll try not to forget to get actual BTS footage. So if you guys have any questions, you know my model. Holla at your boy. Peace.